we're talking about creating a conscious dream which will manifest and function. If you build it into your mind, your mind becomes miraculous. This is tantra. There are situations where they will plant a seed, tantrics, make it grow right there and bear fruit within a matter of hour or two. There are two dimensions of human life. One is the human being is supposed to just be. You know, of course there is human doing, a human being wants to do. If you want to do something in the world, the larger and more vivid your dream is, the better. If you have a weak dream, every day it keeps changing, then that's not going to manifest. So when you want action, you need a dream. You have heard the famous speech, yes, I have a dream. And it did tremendous things. It changed the whole nation. It changed the culture completely just because somebody has a dream. So when it comes to action in the world, you need a dream. Otherwise, how? But everybody need not have a dream. If everybody has their own private dreams, they become fantasies <laughs> and it'll go somewhere else. A man who's conscious must generate a dream. You want me to complete the dream or have you woken up? <laughs> this happens to dreams, isn't it? When you're sleeping, somebody comes and <clears throat> end of the dream. Now we are not talking about those dreams. Those dreams are just exaggerated replay of so many unfulfilled things within you. Most of the dreams that people go through in the night are just unfulfilled realities which will find all kinds of weird expressions. They're just simply random thoughts running most of the time. There are four different types of dreams, but a large part of the dream is just unfulfilled desire. We're not talking about that kind of dream. We're talking about creating a conscious dream which will manifest and function. Devi is actually a dream. I made her up, but she's real and she works. There's one culture in the world who kind of figured this right. In India, the expression is too sophisticated for people to understand. But a simple expression was found by the aboriginal people in Australia. They say… they refer to the world and the making of the world as dream time, God dreamt it. It's not real. Even now, God is sitting and dreaming all this, that you're all sitting here is his dream. It's not real. It's a perfect description of creation. A very simple but perfect. This is what here we said is maya. This is what modern physics is trying to tell you that existence is relative. It's relative to your dream, not you as a person, but you as a being, it is true. So if a being manic creates a form, a dream is a form by itself, if he creates a form, it will manifest. Of course, it needs to be supported a bit, but once it's supported, it will always manifest. The whole dimension of tantra is just this. In the West, the word tantra means… Uh, some fools have written books saying that tantra means unbridled promiscuity, okay? No, tantra means technology, the technology of creating. Tantra needs a very vivid imagination. 
It's like this. You can try this, you can spend some time on this. You… you don't pluck anything. You go sit near a tree or a blade of grass. Just vividly build the memory of this blade of grass one hundred percent into your mind. It takes a lot of work, believe me. My whole childhood, I just sat there building the memory of small things into my mind. And just one thing if you manage, I'll tell you, the memory of this little finger, if you build it into your mind, your mind becomes miraculous. When I say the memory, there are so many characteristics to this little finger. If you go micro millimeter by micro millimeter, observe every bit and build that memory into your mind, your mind becomes an explosive possibility. Now, if you want, you can make a little finger grow out of the grass. This is tantra. There are situations where they will plant a seed, a mango seed is planted, tantrics, make it grow right there and bear fruit within a matter of hour or two. Because it's a dream. The tree is anyway a dream, your body is anyway a dream, the universe anyway is a dream. In one level it is a dream, it is relative. So this is what we said maya. Maya does not mean it does not exist. Dream does not mean it does not exist. It is not the way you think it is. The way you are perceiving through your five sense organs, that's not the way it is. Its nature is different. So, when I'm talking about different things, I may say different things, but they're not different. Because you're looking at it with a discriminatory intellect, they're looking different for you. Right now you're sitting there on the ground. You may think, I am sitting here. The earth thinks you're just a lump of itself. Who will be proved right one day? Right now you can say, no, that's not true, I can get up, I can walk, I can run, I can jump. But one day, when it sucks you back, the earth will laugh at you. So, it's best tonight you sit down and look at these three things. At the end of the day, you sit in your bed and look back on the whole day from the morning you got up, how you been going around, you will see ninety percent of the time you're quite stupid. I'm being generous with percentage, believe me <laughs> If you're given little work, if you're just given little responsibility, suddenly you become so important. You become bigger than the universe suddenly. How many times you expanded beyond the size of the universe? If you look at it, you will see most of the time it's bloated. <laughs> How many times you became immortal, that is you're not conscious of your mortality? Just… and how many times did you walk around looking at people and things around you without any sense of involvement? Just three things you watch out. You will see, you will have to laugh through the night. Don't start crying. Just learn to laugh at your stupidity. You will see, all the rubbish you carry will turn into manure very fast. And manure is good for growth, you know. Yes. Every day you do this, you will become wise, believe me, very wise. And I have a need for wise people. I'm looking for them. There are a whole lot of things to do, not enough wisdom. Let's grow them. Hmm?